I want to I want to wrap up with this last question. Um, and you've talked a little bit about how you, as a VC, end up dealing with kind of the death of companies, um, and that's just kind of part of life. Um, and you referred back to my healthcare experience, and um, you know it's true you know when you work in healthcare people die and dealing with that is part of it um what are good ways in which you have seen founders shut down a company or what are ways in which a founder has shut down a company that's really impressed you as a vc and makes you think i want to invest in that person's next company mm mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, you know, and this is like the, the, the yeah, I don't know, $100 million question because yeah. like, you know, when, when you're making progress, but the progress doesn't seem fast enough, at what point do you, you know, do you, do you pivot or shut down and do something else? And we, you know, we were, we were the, we were the, uh, on the board, um, I wasn't, but my partner was on the board of Odeo, which then was shut down and led to Twitter. We were in a company called Genie that led to Yammer. We were in a company called Orchestra that, that pivoted into Mailbox. Um, you know, th- these, these sort of, you know, pivots do happen. And, and often the only thing that you can attribute to them are great founders who sort of navigate those waters and change course, you know. Mm. And, and so, yeah, I think that the founders that we find that um, I'd say are perceptive to not drink their own Kool-Aid, like the data's out, they've got numbers on their business. They don't see a path where, you know, they've pulled enough levers to know like, okay, nothing is going to 10x the business from here in the next year. So let's find some faster moving water uh, Mm. and are quick to sort of call it like there's no fat, you know, I I think of it as like fast moving water. They'll, they'll sort of look for it over here. And if they don't find it over here, they, you know, they'll they'll go over there. And and then if, if it's nowhere to be seen, they'll, yeah, they'll in some cases start working on things that are like totally different, right? The, the big pivots. Um, as they look for these kind of, you know, to me, it's the nose for markets first hmm. is where, you know, I think that, that, you know, in venture in particular, we're looking for these founders that want to build huge companies like, you know, building a great business is actually not, unfortunately, the goal here at CRV. We want to find these founders and companies that are going to change the world. And, and that bar is much higher. So you need founders who have this very intense desire to to have that sort of impact in the world and mm. and seem to you know have a product capability you know to move quickly to test things quickly to be opportunistic and put themselves you know in that fast moving water of like hey you know i think facebook platform is going to be you know be a thing or i you know or i think the iphone platform is super interesting or you know i think you know bitcoin's going to explode and this nose for markets and positioning yourself in places where if something takes off, mm. you, know, you, you can build these like massive companies mm. I think is, is definitely a skill set that we see of our best founders for sure. Wow. Um, this has been fantastic, Sar. And I really appreciate your time. Every time I talk with you, I learn. Um, and just want to thank you for your friendship and thank you for your advice. Thanks. And um, just Same. thanks for being awesome, dude. And thanks for taking the time to talk with us. You too, man. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Sar. Have a great day. Okay, you too.